Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the full moon reading for July. So, I believe it is a lunar eclipse, July 4th, 5th, in the 4th into the 5th. So we are going to do, and it's a full moon, so we're going to do the uh, full moon reading for that uh, event. We're just going to see what comes up. We're going to use a couple of different oracle cards. Then we're going to use this deck right here. I think we will start right here. What do we have for the full moon? What do we have for the full moon? Oh, three of swords, three of swords right off the bat. So, uh, this hurts. Okay. The three of swords is pain. Okay. It's being poked in the heart. Okay. The three of swords is pain. So that's sadness. All right. Uh, tears being shed. Uh, it hurts. It hurts. So something is going to happen where... You know, you get poked and you get hurt. So be prepared to shed some tears right around this time. Um, whatever it is, it's going to hurt. And it's going to bring tears right to your eyes. It is what it is, right? This is reality. And full moons reveal things and change things that... Um, are very significant in our lives. They're changing points, especially eclipses. Okay, so tears are going to be shed. Okay, something is going to happen where, you know, and it hurts your heart. Okay, it hurts your heart. There's heartache, there's grieving. Um, it's painful. What do we have? What do we have for the full moon? Now, the Three of Swords can be a separation or a loss. Whatever it is, it's heartache, okay? Or pain. It's pain. The Three of Swords is pain. Ooh, the Chariot. So the Chariot is victory. It's victory. I'm going to show you something here in a minute. Um... I got a sneeze coming. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Excuse me. Anyhow, this is victory, triumph, transformation. This is a card of transformation. It's uh, taking a journey. Uh, now, the, ch the chariot is often about hiding behind a mask as well. And the moon, we're having a full moon. Um, which happens to be in, in Cancer, and this is Cancer, and the, the moon is ruled by Cancer. All is not as it seems. Okay, so we got this Cancer full moon that is going to send somebody on a journey. Okay, somebody's going on a journey. And there's some sort of pain involved. But the chariot is mastering your emotions controlling your emotions, replacing fear with faith and taking that leap and moving forward. So somebody is going to replace that fear with faith and move forward. Okay, they are. There's going to be some pain involved that causes this movement. Now, before we go any further, we have temperance reversed on the bottom here, which is patience. And we have temperance on the reverse, but on the bottom here. And I just happened to notice it. Whenever I put a deck down, I look on the bottom. And so I looked at the bottom of this one when I did it, and then I looked at the bottom of this one, and they're the same card. So I figured, well, that's a message. <laughs> Obviously, it's a message, and it's a very pertinent one. Okay, so the reversed temperance card is something is off. Profound self-healing is needed. There could be the onset, onset 
of an illness, okay? There's an imbalance. There could be, you know, somebody losing their balance, okay? They lose their balance. Maybe it's because of an illness or they're moving too fast or they're going overboard or they're engaging in some negative pattern or something like that. This is not healthy. There's frustrations. There's inappropriate behavior. Okay, somebody is acting inappropriately. They may have some addictions. They could go overboard. Okay, there could be an accident. This is moving very fast. I just got to be honest with you. Okay, the temperance reversed is not going with the flow as well. Um, needing some sort of adjustment. There could be some hostilities. There's mood swings. There's emotionally unstable. There's clumsiness. Okay, so there's an imbalance here and there's inconsistency and there's uh, there's probably been some sort of competition. So I feel like uh, there's going to be some sort of, oh... Something's about to go down, okay? Something is about to fall down or it's about to go down, okay? Um, somebody uh, needs to slow down and they need to accept things. Um, they're going overboard and they're about to get hurt. They're about to get hurt. Somebody's going to get hurt. They're moving too fast or... Something like that. Something's something's gonna happen, and it's interesting because this was uh, that's what's gonna happen. Somebody's is gonna get hurt, and I'm just I gotta be honest, okay? I can't fluff it all up like everybody else does. It's just not who I am. So what do we got here? Whatever is happening to fluff it up, fluff it up a little bit. This is a card of transformation. This journey moves you uh, towards success. Puts you in the driver's seat. Puts you in the lead. Puts you in that top position, whatever it is. Because you take the lead. You take it. Embrace the moment. And you're going to be embracing the moment. That's it is gonna. It's going to happen all in a moment. I know that it is. It's going to be all of a sudden. All of a sudden. It is definitely going to be all of a sudden. I'm positive. Okay. Embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you are changing your energy. And that is exactly what is going to happen too. Your energy is shifting. And it's going to shift pretty fast. Okay? But it does come with some pain. Okay? Change or transformation isn't painless it's not it's not if you didn't experience the pain you wouldn't change so i mean we do have a transformation here um and it looks like it's a painful one it's gonna happen all of a sudden king of cups reversed so this is emotional shutdown King of Cups reverse. This is this is not communicating, withdrawn, uh, uh, not available for love, not looking for love, not following your heart. Very very emotional. A lack of it is, and it's interesting. I put it right underneath the Three of Blades. So somebody is closing off their heart. They're shutting down emotionally. Or they're not following their heart. Withholding love. Now this person, the King of Cups in reverse, could be an individual that doesn't have good intentions. Very, very secretive. Oh my God, temperance reversed again. So that is very, very, very prominent. 
could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but we could also be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, and Sagittarius are pretty prominent here. Uh, Pisces and Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Sagittarius. But anyway, Temperance again reversed. I really don't need to go over it again, other than we have this is an individual. This is a person that is not in harmony, that is not happy, that is engaging in negative patterns. This person um, may be getting ill, okay? They're not healthy. Uh, there's extremes here when you get the temperance reversed, especially three times. Extremely unhealthy. Extremely inappropriate behavior. Definite imbalance. And it's emotional imbalance. So we have an individual that is emotionally imbalanced. And they may even go off the deep end. This is like a, somebody that is having mood swings. This is like a roller coaster ride. Ups and downs. This person is having a lot of ups and downs and really ha really having a hard time controlling their emotions. Two of Cups. Now this is about a partnership. It is about a union. This guy is interested in this individual who doesn't seem to be given too much. Okay, I mean, it looks like she's got somebody that is interested, but she's not really into it. I mean, she doesn't look like she's too into it. He's smitten on her, but hmm, she's not too smitten on him. Uh, maybe she is, I don't know. This is like extremely not able to accept. This is unable to accept. Because temperance comes after death and it's reversed, unable to accept. The emperor. The emperor. So the emperor, that's a father figure or a boss or a very masculine energy who is looking at a union, looking at a partnership. Very control, very much about control. He has a plan. This guy has a plan. He is a battle ready. He is ready to fight. Ready to fight for a union. So we do have an individual that has made up his mind. This guy is very decisive that he is going to fight because he's a fighter for a union. Okay? Um, he is the boss. He is the boss. But this is unhealthy. We could have two people here. We'll find out. The devil. The devil. So there's some sort of obsession here. We have an individual that is obsessed. Obsessed with getting what they want. There is definitely some sort of addictions here. You notice there's a needle. you got to be careful. Hopefully there's not going to be an overdose. Okay, I mean, I don't know what's going on, but there, this this is definitely a um, tricky situation. Okay, it is a tricky situation. This person is looking for love. You know, look at holding on to this demon. So I think that we got to be really careful. Somebody is up to no good. We definitely have somebody that is up to no good here. And I feel like we got one person that is blinded, blinded by the feeling, blinded by the euphoria that may not, uh, obviously doesn't see. This person doesn't see that they are dealing with, you know, an individual that has ulterior motives, is looking to take advantage of them. Oh my goodness gracious. Now that this is like, this is, now de the devil can be a death. It can absolutely be a death. It is a disaster. The devil is a disaster. Okay. It's uh, a fallen angel who is about self-indulgence. This is definitely an illness. Person, somebody that is ill. Um, 
Now, this is, it could be a disaster or a death that comes from an addictions. This is toxic. This is unhealthy behavior. And I do feel like there's some sort of uh, addictions here or imbalance. And it could be, an, it's an emotional imbalance where somebody goes overboard. Okay. Now, the devil um, will do anything for, uh, to feed their ego, to get, in, to get their ego fed, you know. So you got to be careful. You definitely need to be careful during this full moon. If you if you're a drug user, I suggest you refrain. I'm just saying. Um, now this is this is um, all the devil is a shadow. Okay, all is not as it seems. All really, and you think about the moon. All is not as it seems. I'm telling you what. There are hidden forces here that are going to uh that are hiding the truth they're hiding the truth there's 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 a shadow there's a darkness that is hiding the truth of a situation somebody's truth okay they're hiding some, who somebody truly is i think that you somebody needs to really open their eyes and wake up Oh, memento more. It is reversed. This one, I could flip it around. There's only really one meaning. This is to remember death. Remember that people die. You die. I'm going to flip it upright because the meaning is the same. Okay? Upright or reversed. Okay? The meaning is the same. This is about death. Okay? This is about death. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. But transformation is about death. Get the four of swords on the bottom and the world reversed underneath it. So this is without saying goodbye. So somebody may be leaving without saying goodbye. You know, they fall asleep and it feels like, you know, you got to be careful. You know, not trying to scare anybody, but um, Memento Mori is thinking about death. You know, remembering that there is death. It could be, it came out reversed. Maybe it's, maybe it's a death. Okay. Um, and we have a father here or somebody that is in an authoritative position. Okay, this is somebody in authority. Um, but he is looking at a union, looking at a partnership, which is interesting. Um, now we got the Four of Swords reversed. So this is fed up. This is exhausted. Extremely ill. Extremely uh, worn down. The Four of Swords. There's health issues here. We could have a father or a boss or somebody. This Whoever this person is. And the Emperor is somebody that is very controlling. Somebody that likes to be in control. Um, this is health issues. Extreme health issues. We have somebody here that has extreme health issues. They may not be able to get up. And it feels like, I mean, this guy, it feels like he may, I'm not sure what the hell is going on. You know, I wonder, I wonder if there is somebody that passes away, if it's a father that passed away and he's looking down, look, because this guy seems to be looking at somebody or it could be a husband that has passed away that is watching somebody deteriorate or I don't know what the hell is going on. What is going on? Now this is, uh, this is a dead end. lovers there's an unexpected choice in love there could be a father that is bringing two people together i don't know where that's coming from but anyhow this the lovers is an unexpected choice in love and i thought maybe earlier there could be two people here this is a warrior this is a fighter could be an Aries, could be a Taurus, could be a Capricorn typically the emperor is somebody that is very dominant it's a very dominant masculine. And this is and, he, and this person is ready to fight in it for a union. And we have the lover's card as well. And this guy doesn't have good intentions. No, this person. And this, this is an ending. So this is the death. 
So there's a death of, of a toxic situation with an individual that doesn't have good intentions, trust me. But this death, okay, this is the death, whatever it is, the ending. This temperance card reversed is, is a roller coaster ride. This is taking taking the lead. This guy has a plan. The lovers is an unexpected choice in love. It's a healing love. So there is an, an, an unexpected opportunity for love. This is an opportunity to heal from a situation that was an exhausting. This is coming together with the person that you are meant to be with. This is a meant to be union. Okay, with the two of cups underneath it and the lovers, that's, just, that's like a soulmate kind of thing. This is somebody that you have shared values with. It's the end of stagnation. Something is going to happen around this full moon where one thing dies and something new begins. But this is this is uh, the emperor takes the lead. Okay, he takes action. So this guy, it's a masculine, takes action. He does. He takes action towards a soulmate. Maybe it was a it previously ended. King of Pentacles. It could be a Taurus or a Capricorn. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. But this is this is somebody that is very stable, very secure, very hardworking. Very cunning and clever. Business oriented. So we have a very uh, hard working individual here. That is going to be focused on a union. Okay, he's going to be really, really, really focused on love. Okay, after something has ended, though, because the Four of Swords is typically, a, it's like a death, but something could be revived, revived. Hmm. We're dealing with, a, I think we're dealing with a uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or an Aries. We have Capricorn a couple times. Um, Gemini. Sagittarius, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Anyhow, this is we definitely have an, a masculine that is taking action towards a union. He may be coming with a gift of some sort. reversed there's been some prolonged grief some prolonged pain that's prolonged grieving five of cups reversed deep depression we have an individual that um they may be somebody may be looking for a reunion i feel like there is something that a partnership that has died and there's going to be a reunion and, and and i don't know if there's a re reunion here in heaven i mean here on earth or in heaven There is definitely going to be an ending, okay? With the devil and the memento more and the four of swords and the three, three, three of swords and, you know, and the temperance reversed three times. Temperance comes after death. 
So somebody doesn't want to accept an ending or they will be in the accepting an ending whether they like it or not. Somebody is goes overboard, you know, or, or something like that. And there could be an addiction or something that causes an accident. I don't know where that's coming from. That's moving too fast. You know, um, I just need to be honest with you. Uh, this is going to help somebody to break free from a toxic, unhealthy situation. Okay. Um, but they have been slaved to. I do see that there is a, there is a coming together of, of soulmates with the Two of Cups and the Lovers card. There's going to be a choice though because the Lovers is a choice. So there's a choice between two. So we do have a choice between two here. We absolutely do. That's just the way it goes. So there is a choice between two. I think that somebody has been refusing to accept change with the Temperance reversed. But they're going to, it feels like they're going to be forced to. I feel like they're going to be forced to because the choice is going to be made. The most practical, responsible, reasonable choice is going to be made. Um, I think it's time to uh, let bygones be bygones and perhaps, uh, you know, uh, forgive something about that. Um, time to focus on the future. And somebody is going to be focusing on the future. Um, we do have an emperor that is uh, ready to leave something behind by the looks of things and start on a new, uh, journey with a partner. Okay. Because there is definitely with the two of cups and the, and the lover's card, there is, there is an, uh, there's a union here. There's, there's, there's a true love connection here. Um, and it may have died in the past. Okay. There may have been a death in the past. But this is, could be a reunion, the five. So it's something like that. And I have to remind you guys, I got the, all these people that that don't, they, 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 they have a one-track mind, okay? They, they're like, oh, I hate my ex. I hate my ex. It might not be your ex. You can have a reunion with somebody that, you know, you, you uh, passed up years ago. Or they passed you up years ago. That could be a reunion. It could be somebody, it's a reunion could be... Uh, like I said, in heaven, it could be, you know, a first wife that passed away and her husband joining her, you know, that kind of thing. It could be a mother and a father, you know, there, a reunion can happen in many different ways. So you keep an open mind, okay? I do think there's going to be a reunion uh, of soulmates, whether this is somebody you met in a past life or in a, you know this lifetime um but i don't it doesn't mean that you've been with this person before you may have i do see an ending with a an individual that doesn't have good intentions i think it's going to end in disaster i think there's some sort of addictions or something like that that could get out of hand and you know somebody somebody could uh go overboard and I got to be honest with that so I don't know if that portion is for you or for somebody you know but I would warn people or I wouldn't be out doing drugs if I was you um I, there is uh definitely uh, new opportunity for long-term commitment with somebody that you are meant to be with. And I feel like that's where the victory comes from. But it comes after pain. So, I mean, this has been a never ending story. And I feel, and it has been a never ending story. But I think it's all coming to an end. Good luck.